Yo guys, Steve of Scotch and Things. Here is another one of my brother's knives, the Benchmade Mini Infidel, excuse me, Mini Infidel, that I'm gonna try and get rid, rid of for him. Ooh, he's got the original receipt in there. Doesn't have the bag for it. This is one of their OTF models. He's carried it some, so this is, we'll sell this as a used or trade it as a used, but it's still in really, really good condition. A little bit of, you know, I think that script is supposed to be like that. A little bit of wear on the pocket clip. Um, you know how I feel about Benchmade. Not a, I'm just not a fan. Like the 940 was okay. Um, I'm just really not a fan of any of their knives. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. Someone might be. Um, this is, like I said, the Mini Infidel. It's in D2. Um, like I know Medford uses CPM D2. I don't know if this is a CPM D2 or just some cheap D2, but I think for the price, I mean, I think that's why people get on Medford sometimes. They were expensive with D2. They were CPM D2, so I'm hoping this is CPM D2 because this was almost a $400 knife. And honestly, it was better. He had a, what was it, the Autocrat and was a huge, huge pile of junk. Um, right out of the box, it was misfiring, so he traded it. But he'd had this for a while and he just doesn't carry it. Um, once he fell in love with Microtech, I mean, there is a huge difference, honestly, between Microtech and Benchmade. And I know there's guys out there that love Benchmade. I'm just not one of them. This is a comfortable knife. It's easy to deploy. I like that side, the side deploy, um, rather than like the top. Um, the, di the Microtech die rack is on the side. For me, for some reason, I just like that better. But you've got the stepped up, stepped up, um, switch you know they always do a good job they've got a deep carry pocket clip on there like i said it's a really comfortable knife uh it's you can see you can get your hand around there just not for me so like i said and once he got into microtex um it's just a big difference so he was going to let this thing go <coughs> excuse me see if i can trade for it see if i can uh just sell it out right for him Someone will get a good deal because, like I said, this thing was like almost $400 brand new. And it's hardly been used, and we're just going to cut it loose at a at a real cheap price and see if we can trade for something. Might package it with something else. But, um, I mean, it's got good action. I'm going to tell you, this has way better action than his Autocrat did. There was something, something hugely wrong with that knife, um, but they were, they just... I think he got it from Blade HQ, and right away he got in contact with them, and and they sent him out a shipping label, and he just returned it for they wouldn't they wouldn't return it and give his money back. He got store credit, so I don't know. I know I know there's a bunch of Benchmade fans out there, so if that's you, here you are. This is the Autocrat. It's a nice sized. I'd compare it to like the UTX 80. 80, I'm sorry, UTX 85 um, from Microtech or the Dirac. Honestly, it's more probably comparable to the to the Dirac, but good action. Like I said, it's double edge. I'm not sure. Correct me. I'm not that versed with these Benchmade OTFs. I don't know if they have a bunch of different blade options to where you can get like a single edge. Honestly, for me, I found like on my Ultratech, I originally got the double edge and <laughs> it's fine but i think honestly for an otf you if you want to get down and bear down you know your hands all the way back here you almost really want the single edge so you can get up here to get some some strength in there you know it's it's got a little blade play up down side side but most autos do so there you go guys here is the benchmade mini infidel a very expensive knife, I think, compared to what you can get out there in the OTF world. Um, for that money, for $400 gets you a lot of knife in the OTF world. So, just those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, thanks for watching. You know, it's I think it's overpriced, honestly, for what 
for what you get. But that is just my that's just my thoughts and opinions. So like I said, let me know down below. Thanks for watching guys.